Ciao, I'm Enzo. I'm Celia. This is a Piazza Talk, a channel about our life in Lucca. And in the Tuscan Hills. Please hit the subscribe button. Grazie. Ciao a tutti. I'm going straight to the point. Why does it take a Hollywood actor to a Hollywood star to make this recipe famous around the world? It is a simple recipe, it's been around in Italy for decades or even centuries and uh, I was surprised it was actually not known before Stanley Tucci in uh, Searching for Italy made it popular around the planet. And what is the recipe? Cacio e pepe. Cacio e pepe means in Italian cacio is uh, means cheese, also formaggio is an old word for cheese. Pepe is uh, ground pepper. And it's part of the three famous pastas? Yes, of... they call it the trinity of uh, Roman cuisine. So we have a carbonara, amatriciana and uh, cacio e pepe. The first two recipes, we already made a video, so I'll leave the, the, the link in the description below. To make this dish, we need simple meals, as I said. We need spaghetti and we need spaghettoni the large spaghetti, very thick spaghetti. And don't forget today to be with high protein content because you want good pasta that stays al dente and uh, it gives you a good, uh, very good uh, gourmet experience. And we'll link that below as well. Yes. Video. Then we need uh, pecorino. We need some uh, uh, mature pecorino, bit, a bit hard. So in uh, uh, if you're in Rome, you get a pecorino romano. That is also easy to find abroad. I got some local pecorino and uh, it is a pretty uh, hard and mature. This is what we need. Ah, and forgot the pepper. So we got peppercorns here. I'm removing the rind from the pecorino because I do Grate it now, that's the first thing to do. Now I'm grating the pecorino and uh, it has to be very fine, so I'm using a grater with uh, uh, tight uh, teeth. This pecorino that I grated and uh, we set aside for the moment. Now we prepare some pasta water. And we add a tiny bit of salt, not too much, because the pecorino is pretty salt itself. Now you have very little water. Yes, we have very little water because uh, we need the starch. So we are cooking the pasta in uh, just the right amount of water to be able to cook it and get some uh, starchy water. Now the water is boiling and I'm going to put the pasta in. I have to bend the pasta because uh, it is a small saucepan and uh, the spaghetti are long. And there's little water. I have to put the pasta below the, the level of water. So that's very important. I mean, you can also do it if you got uh, a large shallow pan. Okay, now the pasta is below the water level and uh, it cooks in uh, this pasta in 14 minutes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to undercook the pasta by three minutes. And now while the pasta is cooking, I'm going to get some starchy water that I'm going to mix with the pecorino. And I'm going to mix it quickly to create the little cream. This is ready. Next stage, while the pasta is still cooking, I'm going to put ground pepper on the bottom of this pan. And I'm going to toast the pepper on a low flame. I don't want to burn it. Now you say low flame, and it's nice. Low heat. Fiamma dolce. Ah, fiamma dolce. Yes. I think it's such a nice. Uh, fiamma dolce. Okay. okay. On a fiamma dolce. 
little flame, I'm going to toast the pepper. And now the pepper is releasing its flavor. And it's quite strong, yes. Mm. I love the smell of pepper. Yes, it's wonderful. Okay. And I'm going to put a little bit of starchy water here. is also ready so I'm going to turn off the pasta and I'm going to add the pasta to the pepper and now go to somebody just get there let's go back there toss it the pasta like this but also you can use the um, a spoon and I'm going to add a bit more pasta water okay. it's quite a thick cream yes so a bit to, like a sort yeah. of um... yes I'm going to mix it quickly I can add a bit more water as well and I keep mixing it yes some more Hot water. I'm adding more pepper. Okay, and then we can uh, serve it immediately. And we need more pepper. And I'm putting more pecorino. Just a beautiful cremina. We thought autumn was coming in, but now it's 26 degrees again. Beautiful warm sun, and sounds like all the little ones are screaming in the piazza. So let's give it a try. Mm. It's yummy. You can't really go wrong with pecorino, pasta, and pepper. A great dish. Very, very yummy.
Thank you for watching. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, leave a like and activate the notification bell. You just need a Google account and it's free. It helps our community enormously. Thank you very much.